Multiple mass shootings, communities are healing after a heartbreaking weekend. In Buffalo, New York, a racially motivated mass shooting, a gunman killed 10 people and injured three more at a neighborhood supermarket targeting the city's black community. Then a Southern California church surrounded by crime scene tape after a gunman opens fire at a lunch reception. The acts of violence are being investigated as hate crimes, sending shockwaves across the nation and right here at home. Rockford Minority Leaders tell 13 News they are hurting and demand better. 13 News' Cassandra Bretto joins us now with what leaders say could be done to end these senseless acts. Cassandra. Brittany, racism and hatred is all too, too real. That's what an African American community member and a Hispanic community member tell me. And while both are discouraged to accept the harsh reality, they say they now they know that a better America is out there. Ricardo Montoya Picasso knows firsthand the damaging effects of racism. I was a victim of racism uh, back home as I'm being a Mexican immigrant. I was uh, called, go back to your own country. I was spitted on. So I understand why hatred is home because it hits home. But is this acceptable? No. As co-founder of the Rockford Regional Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, he works to highlight and support voices of minority business owners. But he also knows the only way to see progress in equality is for everyone to have a seat at the table. We live in a country that we, 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 we promote principles of freedom and, and acceptance through other nations throughout the, throughout the world, but it, but it comes domestically. We're not preaching those same principles about love and integrity. Picasso says Rockford is divided. He hopes neighborhoods can enforce a zero tolerance policy for racism and violence. Racism is sick. I'm going to turn it back towards parents. You have to teach that racism is not a good thing, that to care for each other, black, brown, yellow, whatever color, but to respect each other's race. NAACP Rockford Chapter President Rhonda Greer says current legislation isn't working. She hopes restricting gun access will have a positive effect on youth. While the passing of guns on the streets is all too common, Greer says so is social media influence. Social media is also feeding into some of the crimes. Um, it's giving them access to guns. It's teaching them how to use guns and it's also giving them that conversation. Hoping to change the conversation now and show acts of respect towards one another. Greer is also seeking better resources inside schools, saying many students are traumatized by violence in their neighborhoods. For 13 News, I'm Cassandra Brittle.